Hey, what's going on everybody? Haskins here. I got another awesome build tutorial for you today. This one's going to be a lot different from the last one. Yes, the semi truck that's been going absolutely wild out there. This is gonna be a lot smaller, cheaper, faster, and easier to get around. This is gonna be more of a utility vehicle. Now, I do wanna warn you, just like most of the other vehicles in the game, they're very, very squishy. And what I mean by that is you run into a granite block, next thing you know, your whole entire car is laying on the ground. So be careful when driving this thing around. And I'm also gonna put out a challenge to everyone out there. Let me see what you can do with this design. Take it to the next level. Can you make it fly? Can you make it more durable? Let's see what you got. But I just wanted to bring this blueprint to you because I've been loving this vehicle. It's got storage, it's quick, it moves really well. And also one last thing before we get into the build, my channel memberships are now live. I got some cool custom badges. I'm working on some custom emojis as well. And special thanks to Dave Skr. He is the first official Midas member on this channel. So thank you so much for tuning into the channel. Your support means the world to me. I'll also be keeping a lookout for my favorite comments and on a weekly basis be featuring those in my videos. Thanks again for tuning in. Let's get into the build. All right, we're gonna try to do this in one take. So we're gonna start with a large car jack. We're gonna drop that bad boy down just like that. And then from there, we're gonna move into this vehicle base 10. We're just gonna turn it sideways like that and snap it in. And we're also gonna drop one more of those puppies right up front. And then from here, we're gonna grab the platform bumper number two and just slap that right up on the front. And then come around to the back where we're gonna take a vehicle base six and just center that up like that. Now from here, we're gonna move over to our wheels. Now, first things first, we're gonna do the large powered wheels and we're gonna get this lined up nice and far back along the edge of this back piece. Now, the one thing to note is have them lined up all the way against the back, but you don't want that square piece hanging up above or below that actual piece. And now we're gonna do the same thing over here. The good thing about this is snap mode is now working for wheels and thrusters and all that. So just make sure they're good and lined up like this. Come on over to the side, they're even heights, and now you're ready to put on the front wheels, which are gonna be turnable large wheels. So from here, we're gonna snap it in right before the bumper. So we're gonna just put it right like that. And then we're gonna also do the same thing on the other side. Again, checking to make sure that the, the wheels are even um, top to bottom and kind of right to left here. And now once you have that ready to go, you can simply drop this bad boy down on the ground. And then we're gonna grab back to our vehicle parts, we're gonna get this vehicle base three. Now we're gonna nudge it forward one space. So for whatever reason, you can't build between the wheels or close to the wheels. So when it's red and you nudge it and it turns green, that's gonna be the indication of like, that's where you wanna put it. So drop that down. And now we're gonna move over to the roof pieces. Now, this is a tip for you all out there. Don't be just locked into the parts that are available in the new update pieces. Experiment, look how cool this looks. It looks like a Batmobile, right? So I actually built a car just like this before the update, but it just obviously didn't work because of the way, you know, things were with the mechanical pieces, but make sure you change the direction of these wheels on this side, because for whatever reason, the game doesn't realize that you want everything moving in one direction. So you have to adjust that. Now let's bring out the torch here so we can see what we're doing because it is nighttime and it's not fun recording at night, but hey, we're gonna roll through it. Cause like I said, we're trying one take. Now we're gonna go back to our vehicle parts under controls and we're gonna grab a large powered center. Now this might be overkill, but whatever, we're gonna do it anyways. And we're just gonna put this thing right up against that block just like that. And then from here, we're gonna move over to the large driver's seat and just nudge this thing right against the power center. Now make sure that this thing is good and center because the next parts we're gonna put on need to fit right on the side of the seat. Now check out how cool this is. This is where it's really, really gonna stand out. So we're gonna make our way down to these Kawara, uh, Kawara Ridge pieces. Now you can turn them one of two ways. You can put them this way and drop them in like this. And get a look at what that looks like. Looks sick. Uh, we got a skeleton interrupting us, so get out of here real quick. And then from here, we're going to place a master chest up front. So we're gonna make our way over to the furniture section and grab that master chest. Make sure it's facing outward and we're gonna tuck that in right between the wheels like that. And bam, look at that thing. Wow. Now that is a nice looking vehicle. And then to top this thing off, we're gonna go back to our car parts. We're gonna make our way down to the actual guards here. Now we're gonna slap a guard right on the front here if it'll let us do it, I don't know, there we go. Boom, now you're done. Check this thing out, man. This thing is slick. You can take these two and turn them the other way. Um, 
the Kawara Ridge pieces, but I prefer to have them just like this. Now for extra oomph, if you really wanna get this thing moving, what you can do is, um, to make it look really good, we're gonna go back to these parts. We're gonna grab another base three. Oh, you know what? I don't think it's gonna let us put it in there. So scratch that. We're gonna go down to our thrusters and you can actually fit a large one on the back here. We're gonna go overkill on this and then we're gonna put three of these underneath, just like that. Now let's give this thing a test run. Let's hop in, boom, all right, and we're off. So here's with no thrusters. Now, <laughs> these cars are so squishy. You have to be very careful for things like um, certain rocks and like tree branches and stuff like that. So let's kick the thrusters on and see what happens. Now it turns pretty well. It's gonna handle things on the road right here. I'm not really seeing much of a difference. Let's see the, we're getting about 10 to 15 meters per second. Now, let's see how this handles hills. No problem. So now you have a sexy looking vehicle. You have a master chest up front. This thing takes five minutes to build and it's super cheap. So, I don't know, if you like this one, smash the like button and subscribe. I'm gonna put out some more vehicle builds. I might do a monster truck. We're gonna do a bunch of crazy stuff. Let's take this thing off into the frost land and see what happens. Um, I don't wanna run into anything. I'm very scared to, to do that, but let's just see if we what happens when we run into trees. Okay, it took trees out. I'm staying away from the granite. We ain't gonna mess with that. But yeah, I mean, this thing, check it out. We're riding in style. Five minute build, cheap, looks great, storage fast love it